so we have some issues on some job sites because they have no water we get there before the well is done so the first phase of the barn to build we have no water which as you can imagine is a problem so uh, we have an enclosed trailer that was in pretty bad shape but we're fixing it up and we're gonna go ahead and uh, put a water tank in there okay so that's going to allow us to bring water to the job sites so the idea is to set it up so that we can have a generator in there and a pump and we can actually set up sprinklers and we can uh, cure concrete so uh, it's gonna be a kind of a multi-purpose uh, water source for job sites so anyway uh, Manny's working on that right now I had a uh, previous team member work on that trailer did not get done so Manny's working on that right now so let's go see how he's doing how's it going bad bad yeah. why because the color colors are all crossed all over the place the colors are crossed yeah back there he's got like brown connected to white and <laughs> Just connections all over the place. So now it's hard to like figure it out. Once you're trying to connect them over here, it makes no sense. Ah. Uh. I mean, what's supposed to be black and blue is like white and black and brown. You don't know which one to use because. And then for your turn signals and your all your signals, half of them aren't even connected back there. So, so you replace this. Uh they didn't have a plug on here already? That one. Huh? This one right here. Put, put a opening connections. Oh, right there. that's what he did? Uh-huh. Yeah, that ain't gonna work. <laughs> so what are you doing on here? You, you're putting a new plug on here? We're gonna put a new, new plug with a junction box. Oh, okay. Container connections so you don't have nothing like this. <laughs> Okay, so you okay, so you're doing a junction box right here, mm -hmm. and this is where everything's going to come into. Huh? Yes, it'll be enclosed once it, once I get them all done. But it's just a matter of like figuring out <laughs> which wires are which. We're going to house a couple of tanks in here, water tanks or those water totes. We'll put them in here. We'll be able to keep a generator, and uh, mainly it's going to be just gravity fed. But if we ever need. Uh, to do, uh, I don't know, like run a sprinkler or to cure a slab or something, then that's where the generator will come in. Hey, we might put a welder in here. That would work also. You know, if we, if we put a welder, it's a generator and we can take this trailer in case we need a, a yeah, welder. In case to we need a welder or anything. Do what? So in case we need a welder or anything. Yeah, we might just do that. Put a welder. You have a generator and a welder. Exactly. Yeah, we might do that. So we might just put a generator in here instead, or we might put a welder in here instead of just a simple generator. And uh, you know, if we need to weld something, whatever, then we can just grab this little trailer, take it with us. Yeah, that might be what we do, Manny. You know how to weld, right? Yes, sir. Now, when I ask you, when you say you know how to weld, what does that mean? Because that means a lot of different it means things. I passed all my stress tests in high school, so I know how to. Weld uphill, downhill. I mean, you do overhead. Overhead, I can do it. <laughs> I, I, yeah, it's hard, but yeah, I know how to do it. You know it. how to TIG? I don't know how to TIG. I know how to MIG. I can teach you. Sticks. I can teach you how to TIG. All right, a three-quarter inch floor, three-quarter inch plywood. Uh, I went ahead and put extra uh, cross members under here, so it should be strong enough. And of course we have a, uh, what is that, a 6,000 pound axle? 6,000 pound. So, we have a big axle already, okay? So, I know you're thinking I'm crazy for even considering this, but the axle has already been upgraded. And, uh, yeah, I think it'll make a nice trailer. So this door right here, the reason it's plywood, did you notice that, Manny? Uh-huh. So we did a job down in Hebronville, Texas. And it was a big job. And uh, we had, we'd been there for like two, three weeks. It was, it was a big job. Uh, this was just concrete. Anyway, we worked so hard. We would stay overnight, just crazy, crazy. But anyway, we were leaving. It was done, I was so happy. It was like 
I don't know, like 1 p.m. And we're out of there. We're all happy. And as I'm leaving, I waited for the guys because they had an electronic gate. So I waited for them to catch up to me so that we could open the gate and we both go through. And one of my guys was pulling this trailer. I was pulling the bigger trailer. So I wait for them. And right when the gate closed, I open the gate. The gate opens and I went. Okay, but they were not quite there when I opened the gate, right? So they get there, well, they start slowing down. Instead of going through the gate, they start slowing down and almost come to a, to a stop. And then they decided to go for it. So then they go for it. Well, then the gate starts to close. Well, instead of hitting the brakes, they hit the gas and they try to beat the gate. So the gate started to close and they hit the front fender. right in front of the fender, which made, made the gate shoved into the uh it wedged right in front of the tire it shoved the trailer sideways and right here where this door is that's where it hit the post on the other side of the gate it knocked the <laughs> it knocked the gate off the hinges well it actually knocked the post down the uh electronic operator knocked that off the the post as well uh, broke the axle. I mean, what a nightmare. We were done. We were done. So that cost a bunch of money. And of course, the customer, which was extremely happy 10 minutes before, he was still very understanding, but not super happy. So that's how this trailer ended up with a bigger axle and a plywood door. And it actually hit right here and it had a huge dent. This member right here had a huge dent, but now that we're fixing it, uh, I went ahead and put a new piece of angle iron there, but... Oh, there's a lot of history on this little trailer. <laughs> so, I guess we're gonna keep the plywood door for now. I guess try to figure out which color is what. Man, these connections are not gonna work either. I know. So you're gonna... Like, that's what I'm talking about. Oh. What is it? Yeah, because, I mean, look at this. Yeah. So, okay, what are you gonna do here? <laughs> this one's just yeah. electrical tape. So, you gonna solder them or what? Yeah, I'll solder them. Do you have heat tubing? Heat shrink tubing? Uh, I think I do. If not, we can get some. Okay. All right, man. Well, now it's your problem. <laughs> Oh look, this one already came off. Yeah. Wow, these, there's, there's, there's not even enough slack. That's what I'm saying, he cut it, and then he cut it all up. So I mean, he didn't leave enough slack and then he cut it off over there so you can't pull it back to give it enough slack and it's just... So do we need more wire or what? I would be, yeah, we're gonna need more wire. Is that junction box gonna leave you any slack? That new junction box or not? What was that? Is that junction box gonna give us any slack to be able to pull some more wire or no? If we can pull the junction box back. Well, maybe move the junction box, because see, we have enough wire. Yeah, we have. I mean, this is a long cable. See, but he, uh, I'll probably just take it out from here. And I mean, I don't we know. have plenty of cable here. Yeah. You may have to move the junction box. Yeah, I can move it. Put it under the trailer or something. And then, well, he's got the wire coming out from here, so I'll just have to pull it out, put it somewhere. Well, see, and this was done all before the floor was on, because it makes it easier, right? But I guess that didn't really help. Yeah. You don't look so happy right now. <laughs> frustrated. <laughs> why are you frustrated? Because <laughs> why didn't he do it right the first time? <laughs> God. Yeah, well, that's my question too. Anyway, well. It could have been easy. Why? No, it was easier. We didn't even have a floor in this trailer. That's trigger. what I'm saying. It was easy to wire. Oh, gosh. oh well, man. Have fun. I'm trying. Call me if you need anything. All right, so Manny's gonna rewire this trailer. Uh, as you guys saw, it's got all brand new wire, but it's all done wrong, so whatever. Uh, hey Manny, we can uh, we can finish this BMF saw. Did I ever tell you about the BMF saw? No. So this saw right here, it's an idea that we had. See those uh, rails right there? Uh -huh. We're gonna put a, a circular saw on that 
and that's going to allow us to cut plywood from one side. It's supposed to be at an angle, or is it supposed to be? Straight? No, no. Right now they're oh. not attached. Right now they just I just set them down right here. You know. Uh huh. The idea is to you'll be able to put a, a piece of plywood there, just, even long ways, and and be able to rip it. Cut it like that, yeah. Just yeah. Like table saw, but yeah. Be able to move it more. So I got a question. How many shafts are there? How many shafts? Yeah, how many shafts do you see? Two. Two shafts. Uh-huh. Did you know that was four different pieces? No, it doesn't look like it. Find the seam. You got one right there in the middle, don't you? Where? That one right there? Is that a seam? Yeah. That's a scratch. This is the seam's right here, look at you see it? Can't even see that. Exactly, that's the whole point. <laughs> I'll show you how to do that one day. All right. I did that with a grinder and a hammer. A grinder and a hammer? <laughs> no, I did it with a metal lathe. Go watch that video, it's on, it's on YouTube. Go check it out, you'll see how I did it. I'll check it out. But, you know how to run a lathe? No. You know how to run a milling machine? No. You will. All right. Soon. I'll show you how to do all that. You're going to be amazed at what you can do. It's limited by your imagination. Anyway, all right, well, let's focus on one at a time. Focus on the trailer and call me if you need anything. So I'll be doing office work today. Manny's going to be focused on this. Leroy's out of the job sites right now. And uh, we hired another project manager. So Leroy's training him today. And you will soon get to meet him. All right, so anyway, Manny, let me know if you need anything. I got something for you. You know what this is? Nope. Open it up. You see, it's a rocket stove kit. A rocket From stove kit. 42 Fab. So I was at the uh, Good of the Land Festival uh -huh. this weekend. Where's your knife? What's up? Where's your knife? Over there. All right, I thought you were going to say you left it at home with me. No, I have it. So it's a kit. It's ready to go, okay? So you weld it all together, and it makes a little, uh, it's a rocket stove. Oh, I think I, we built one in egg whenever I was in high school. You built one before? Mm hmm Yeah, it's pretty cool. Uh, so we'll be able to, you know, the cold weather's coming. Winter, if it ever gets here. Mm -hmm. So we'll be able to throw uh, one of these in the uh, concrete finishing trailer and then we can uh, man we can use these things to heat up food or even cook you know or heck just stay warm keep warm but anyway 42 fab. 42 fab when you're done with the trailer and when you're done with the power washer then you can you can do this hey i got three by the way so yeah, three of them, right? yeah i'll let you do one we'll, we'll just make that one yeah. And uh, I don't know, I might take mine. I might show you how to take. Okay. All right, later. All right, so I've been working in the office for the last three hours. I'm gonna go check on Manuel, see how he's doing. I think he took a lunch break in between, so we'll see how far ahead he is. How's it going? You see my hair? <laughs> About ready to pull it up. We pulling on your hair there? Yeah. Come here, come check this out. Uh oh. Look at why do we need six, seven wires when we only have three connections right here? I don't know. Exactly. <laughs> Makes no sense. Oh my god, dude. <laughs> I don't even know which ones are right and which ones are wrong. I'm trying to like backtrack him and he's got him stuck in PVC pipe that he has zip tied to the axle. <laughs> like seriously, dude? Oh my god. No. I'm gonna pull this up. Let me count how many wires I have down here. I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Where did they come from? I don't know. I'm trying to give them the benefit of the doubt. Yeah, it's like brand new wire, man. <laughs> it is brand new wire. I bought it. That's what I'm saying. It makes no sense. What? Why are you mad, bro? <laughs> yeah. 
center pin, that's your ground. And on this one also, it says ground white. Wait, what do you mean the center pin? The main. Look right here, it says ground on the light also. Right, it says ground, mm -hmm. but the center pin is not the ground. Well, which one's the ground? Those are right here. See it? <laughs> now all messed up. <laughs> you gotta clear your head, man. I know, I have you like can't an hour. work when you're frustrated. I know you got thrown into this mix, but you know, mm -hmm. you gotta just clear your head. So as you guys see, Manuel's over here trying to fix somebody else's work, which, as we all know, can be challenging, but uh, he's pretty frustrated, which is not helping at all. Like I said, make a list of everything you need, and uh, by the time you get back, it's gonna be like totally, totally easier. <laughs> oh. Well, it will be because you know right now you're just frustrated. It's not gonna. If you keep at it, it's gonna keep getting worse and worse. And what'd you eat? You Church's wanna... chicken. Church's chicken. There you go. Not a sponsor. <laughs> not a sponsor. <laughs> no <laughs> one's a sponsor. <laughs> That's a joke that we've been doing for a long time. Every time we mention a brand, we say not a sponsor, but we don't have any sponsors, so. That's the joke. You know, the other thing that you can do, you may have to get another junction box. Another junction box? Well, I'm thinking, all right? Mm -hmm. So, if you, get, if you were to get another junction box, and see, instead of having all those wires like that, if you get uh, that seven-way wire, you know what I mean? Like we use for the goose next? All right. If you get that wire, right and you run it from the front all the way to the back and then you put a junction box here and then you just run all the make all your connections just from the lights to there mm -hmm. and then now you just run the, the brake wires from the axle to that junction box you follow what i'm saying mm -hmm. or you can put it like under there right somewhere underneath the, right underneath that. instead of having to run all those wires so all if you're going to rewire the whole thing i might as well run the seven way wire because it's already insulated that's what i'm saying you know what i mean yeah. And uh, and get you those uh, those clamps. You know. Yeah, what I'm that's what I was gonna get the 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 wire to so I can clamp the. Yeah, and then and just get you another junction box. Put it back here, that's and then from there you yeah. just run to here run to the there. Wire to the center. Make the well, it's not gonna be in the center. You you want to run that wire on this channel yes, yes, underneath, and uh, actually, actually. I don't see why we couldn't put the, the, the junction box inside. You know what? We can go overhead if you want. It's just going to be a lot more wire, but... Oh, I mean, shit. Wire all over the place. I don't know what that guy was doing, but... It really bothers me. <laughs> I'll tell you. Hey, well, welcome to uh, construction, man. Everybody does things their own way and you would think here's the here's the hardest part that I had to deal with here's the hardest thing I had to learn in construction when you pay a professional to do something a lot of times they don't know you know what I mean they don't even know what they're doing and that's the hardest part yeah. uh, here's a question for you what do you call the guy that graduated last place in his class for being a doctor what do you call that guy double you know like you go to medical school uh -huh. what do you call the guy that graduated last in his class i'm not sure you call him a doctor oh yeah right well, he's still a doctor right so he's still a doctor so that's you just have to remember that at all times that there's a huge spectrum, man, yeah. from the guy that finished last to the guy that finished with honors, top of his class, you know, knowledge and, and dedication and all that good stuff. So yeah. keep that in mind. Just because they're called a doctor doesn't mean they were the best doctor that he could have possibly been. All right, we'll go get you some more parts. Okay. You think you'll finish this before the end of the year? Before the end of the year? <laughs> Open by it. 
Tomorrow or something? What do you mean tomorrow? What was the what? What did we discuss this morning? We're supposed to finish it today, but oh god, dang! That was considering the fact that all the connections were made right, and I just had to come and solidify the connections in the junction box. You look salty, man. Why are you salty? Cause God, <laughs> bothers me whenever people don't do the things right the first time. <laughs> How they should be done. Make a list. Tractor supply. Yeah. Not a sponsor. Not a sponsor. <laughs> yeah, go to Tractor Supply and get, they should have everything you need. Okay. Call me if you need anything. He's mad. He's mad. Manual went looking for uh, seven. Uh, strand wire, what the heck is that called? Just the trailer wire yeah, the for trailer the wire. seven way. Anyway, they didn't have any, so we're gonna have to order it. So he's not gonna be able to finish the trailer today. However, if you guys remember, the very first assignment that I gave Manuel when he started here was to uh, fix the drone. So we're gonna give it its uh, test drive today or test flight. You gonna work, Manuel? Yeah, it's gonna work. All right, so we have a problem. It's not working. Uh, looks like we need to calibrate. All right. All right, perfect. Since we're done, set it down. It still says we can't take off, though. Abby mode. I don't know why. GPS disconnected. Did you connect the GPS? The white wire? Oh, I think I know which one. The one in the back. The one that I told you, don't forget to, because I did it one time. Did you? No, I didn't. You didn't connect it? I told you. That's like the last. Exactly. Last. He's going to go connect the wire that I told him not to forget to connect. <laughs> and then we're going to try it again. Was the cable disconnected? All right, so let's try it sure again. Sure was. I don't know. Worked out great. We have a drone again. Yay. I put up a video with Adam Booth and April Wilkerson. And I had to take it back down because somehow, for some stupid reason, when it got exported and uploaded to YouTube, it got corrupted. If I can fix it, I'm going to re-upload it. If not, then oh well. But I'll try. I went to the uh, Good of the Land Festival over the weekend. It was amazing. So you're going to start seeing some footage this week about that. And probably into next week, there was a lot of footage. So I will bring that to you as soon as possible. We are Texas Barnuminiums.